Education is more than just preparing students to answer tests. It's really preparing them to face the tests of life and inspire them to become lifelong learners. Our mission is to educate young women who will go out into this world with the tools they need to face both the challenges in their professional life and their personal life. Sure of what they know, strong in their convictions, and brought up and educated under our motto, do right, fear not. The families of Britishers who got together in 1941 with the mission of founding a school for their girls had one concept in mind, prepare young women to face life. As this is a traditional British school, we have a school divided into different areas. Infant, junior, middle and senior school. In infant school, we work with little girls from three years to six, teaching how to talk in English with a full immersion. Nowadays, English makes a difference, and this is another way where our school makes the difference as well. We work with a special program called Floppy Phonics. That program gives us initial sounds where they can work with the phonetics of them and they start doing the blending, reading by heart and then they read giving significance to the words. They continue having English, many, many hours of English. They have uh, English as a class and they also have British culture and art in English, also science. And then they continue having preparation for the preliminary English test later on the first certificate in English and then they finished with this IB certificate in Fort Senior our last year. They are also able to travel to other countries and put into practice everything they've learned. Five years ago we began with a very small exchange program with international schools, basically Queen Margaret schools in the world. This program has grown fast and it has allowed our students to go out into the world on their own, sometimes with other teachers. It has also allowed us to bring into our school girls from abroad. The curriculum in the senior school is the IB program, also known as the International Baccalaureate Program or IB Diploma Program. It's an excellence program that we have been using since 1992. It's an absolutely well-prepared program that is going to teach the girls different areas of knowledge mainly the six areas that compose the hexagon, which are languages, sciences, mathematics, the arts, history, and in the center we have CAS, creativity, action, and service, and theory of knowledge, which is how to learn to learn. The IB Diploma teaching approach is based on a methodology which deals with teaching the subjects completely connected. They are connected in terms of their similarities and differences. So in this way, the students can realize that the world is linked, is not disconnected. One of our important pillars in our school is sports. But sports beyond just practicing the sports because of a physical or healthy attitude in life. It also combines great, great elements like Fair play, for example, where students learn to play in a team, where they learn to lose and win, when they learn to respect the other players. We're playing matches regularly against other British schools in Chile. Every weekend, there are girls traveling to Santiago or students coming from Santiago to our school. And we have the great premises. We have our hockey fields, we have a gymnasium and we have all the necessary equipment to receive these students and for our girls to practice sports at a highly competitive level. Together with a strong, rigorous academic curriculum, music and arts are important as well. There's a space for each one of our students to explore music, musical instruments, choir, drama and visual arts. En estos tiempos, en el mundo actual, en el mundo contemporáneo, se habla mucho de innovación, 
de emprendimiento, el tema de la creatividad, que no está solamente implícita dentro de lo que es el arte, sino que trasciende a las otras áreas, a las otras disciplinas. Por eso es que nosotros hemos ido implementando una, una línea, dándole estas herramientas que, como decía, más allá del conocimiento, van en desarrollar en ellas un pensamiento crítico que les va a permitir desenvolverse en todas las áreas del conocimiento. El, el ramo de teatro es, yo creo, uno de los pocos colegios que cuenta con un ramo más tan importante como la ciencia, el lenguaje, que nos permite dar una vuelta al mundo de la, en las formas de hacer teatro y por otro lado también eh, profundizar en las áreas del teatro propiamente tal, o sea, actuación, voz, movimiento, se trabaja mucho con la creatividad, por lo tanto ellas de alguna manera instalan sus propias ideas, entonces desarrollan esa capacidad de liderazgo, pueden aplicarla en cualquier área donde ellas vayan a estar en un futuro. I've been doing plays now I think for 30 years. It's always been a joy, it brings the girls together, it unites them to this love towards the school, and the girls change, they come out of themselves, they show their character, they practice their English, it unites the whole class, it unites them to the teacher, to the school, and they never forget it. There are things in education that are essential and do not change. We have to care for our students. We have to have the best teachers. We have to inspire our students every day. We have to make them lifelong learners. But we also have to educate women. Women with many other qualities that we are strengthening day by day. Essential values like responsibility, respect, honesty, and together with that, leadership. Our students are the future leaders. Future leaders in their jobs, future leaders in their homes, and possibly the future leaders of our country. That is why St. Margaret strives day by day to give these girls the best we can so that they can go out into the world convinced of who they are and what they can give to the world.